You watching? Yeah, I'm watching. This is mind blowing. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> so I've come down to the border of Limerick and Cork. And uh, I'm collecting some parts from 86 off friend Jason who has some nice cars. Uh, this is nice. This was just out as we came around the corner. He was cleaning it. And um, yeah, sure, we'll give you a look at some of his stuff. This car actually is quite special. I don't know, a lot of people probably won't even recognize it, but uh, it's uh, Eric O'Sullivan's ex drift car that went to America. I have a poster of this. Yeah, I had a poster of this on my wall. This is uh, Eric O'Sullivan's ex Rockstar Energy. It was 11 back then. It was 11, yeah, it was yeah, 11 yeah. yeah. So Eric built this. This was like the most famous drift car back in the day, aside from, um, we'd say, Darren's twin cam. Yeah. They were like the two king twin cams back in the day in Ireland competing. So it's really, really cool. This car still exists and it's kind of awesome that our friend Jason just bought it and he's just been maintaining it and he just freshly rebuilt the engine. And uh, yeah, it just lives on the side of a hill. In Ireland, in just Limerick, in yeah. Limerick. Right. Yeah, absolutely nuts. Oh, oh yeah, this. look at that. It's just like, so obviously the pop-ups don't work anymore because it has a whole like different front end on it and stuff. Yeah. But uh, it has the groove for the pop-ups and uh, Jason just put back yeah, in pop-up lights. Yeah, it just looks like it. It's such a great car. Yeah. He said it's 450 horsepower now, 450. Yeah. It's got an F20 EC in it and it's supercharged. When 86s actually used to compete in drifting and it was really cool for a couple of Irish guys to get their cars shipped from Ireland to America and compete at Long Beach. So this car has like competed in a bunch of events and it's just like back in Ireland, it's still alive and it just, yeah, it just lives in a very unsuspecting place. It came back to Ireland, Eric sold the car down to Brian Egan, it became the uh, dealt with car. And that was pretty cool. Yeah, it did really Brian well. had it looking pretty badass. It's been many colors. And uh, this is probably one of the longest running drift cars. Probably in the world competing drift cars. It's still going. It's changed hands and looked many different ways. So it's all been repainted. Jason has just let me know that he got it repainted. He's put the brides in it. He's got a Zeeg and he's got a Z2. Very, very nice. It's so cool how much history it actually has. Jason has a wireless starting system that made me feel like a little child here. No. <laughs> you watching? Yeah, I'm watching. This is mind blown. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I'm so easily amused. <laughs> That's great. God, that's great. Ah, this is great. Just a ex uh, pro drift, just race car, just tipping up the old, uh, the old Irish road there. We featured this car about uh, seven or eight years ago on the Juice Box website, and it's uh, it looks like a, a toy in the in, in its case. Oh, 
Ah, le lion comme là. So this is actually the main reason why I'm here. So came down to buy these. I'm just dangling over a it's nice like car. Right, great. <laughs> Items for the car bought. Check. So we called up to Jason so I could get those few bits off him. And uh, yeah, he's seen his red car, but uh, I really wanted him to drag his key out of the shed and uh, just give you a little look at it because I remember doing uh, photos on this car about nine or ten years ago in the exact same place. This car got a lot of attention and. Then Paddy shot it on Speed Hunters, and uh, yeah, a lot of people love this car. We've had it a long time since 2000 and, 2008. He's had this KE since. It was the first Jap style KE I had ever seen done properly, and it was a two door. Jason kind of mixed both styles because he kept it looking Irish but also looking Jap. So, yeah, I'm gonna just give you a little poke around this, and uh, just before we head home, because definitely one of my favourite cars. So you wouldn't be Ireland without a soggy day. What's hilarious is we shot photos of the car right here back in 2010 and it was also raining at the same time. Not much has uh, changed with it. The only thing that really changed was the wheels. Yeah. They're like 9J minus... They're a bit wider on the back now. Are they now? Are no, they now? Minus... 9J minus 19. Minus 19? Yeah, I've done the back arches there inside and outside on them right. as well. And Done and put in a new boot floor into it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fiberglass wings on the front of it yeah. as well. Flared. Um, just maybe everything else was twin cam, then gearbox, yeah. back axle, and then fully built. Yeah. yeah. I love that you kept the original. It's the Mark 1 front end, is it? Like yeah. the Irish Mark 1 front end. Because yeah. a lot of people go quad headlamp. Just really. wanted it looking subtle on the outside yeah. and subtle on the inside. Something you could drive around but still has a grunt under the bonnet. Yeah. I'll just give you a look at the inside. It's incredible. I, my favourite thing about what you did with this was just leave it, leave it original. Like, yeah. that's the original blue interior that would have came in him. And 90% of people, even me, I would definitely admit that if I owned this, the first thing I would have done, because I'm a fucking idiot, is just strip the car out, put a cage in it, put brides in it, go nuts. But I absolutely, this was the first car I'd ever seen where, like, you just put in some subtle Jap stuff, like the Amori from Rev Gauge, a nice Nardi, and then just left it alone. And it just looks so fucking cool, like. It's what so I mean? comfortable to yeah. it in. It's actually hard to believe with the coilovers and everything. It's yeah, because it's quite a foreign car in the road, but then the inside of it's like a fucking couch, like. Jeez, you built it 10 years ago, like, and it's still, it just goes to show, like, do you know what I mean? Good style yeah, doesn't go out of fashion. Yeah, look, I just built it whatever way it suited me at the time, and I thought it was cool. Yeah. Like, there was a lot of parts, like, you couldn't get for Because you got all, was it all the bumper bits and the rear lights and everything, all brand new, dead stock yeah. from, from Malaysia? Yeah. Because the stuff was long gone in Ireland, you got brand new badges and everything. Still holding it's up. 10 years, like. like, and it's still, like, to someone, it would look brand new. In fairness, like, we live in a country where cars absolutely fall apart, like, yeah. do you know what I mean? I mean and fact. the car has stood the test of time, like. And it is Corolla country, there's an old yeah. Corolla whizzing past there now with old Meyer in it. There's the old original, uh, Dealer sticker. It's actually an English import, so it's right. Oh, yeah. What exhaust you have on it? Cashew Racing. Cashew Racing. Yep, that is fucking great. What kind of horsepower? Uh, it's 190. Bro. Yeah. It's some <laughs> car to move. But that's the, that's the thing, yeah. Like It's definitely one of the fastest cars. Like, do you know, I had, yeah. like, even though I had other 20 valves, I had yeah. 16 valves. Everything I had a HKS 5H yeah. engine, but this car is always the fastest on the lot. It's yeah, it's fully built, like it's everything towed is everything. Towed Pistons, everything. Cams, um, rods. Then the bottom end is a standard crank, like right, yeah. ASL bearings. Yeah. There, but there was a lot of head work done, yeah, like yeah, yeah. polish and trip cut the valves and stuff. And uh, it's on Omic CCU, Powercraft manifold and stuff. Yeah, the Powercraft Tornado manifold, is it? Yeah. And it's the same engine that's in it since back same then as well. Engine, yeah. And it's just been. Absolutely, just bang on. Yeah, yeah. I got so sick of people messing me around trying to build it. I just took it out myself. Yeah, just build it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> another 
it's still one of my favourite cars and then like it's it's cool you still have it you never sold it you yeah. still love it I haven't done anything with it just changed just, the wheels just changed the wheels and yeah. drove it and enjoyed it oh sorry actually there no oh are they yeah, yeah well yeah my missus bought things for my birthday <laughs> yeah. I have to mention yeah. that that's nice to have a missus that actually goes off and buys fucking you know what I mean? Like tech yeah, trumpets or whatever yeah. like, you know? Everything you bought, you'd bought the finest, the best of whatever because yeah. it's just the only way to do stuff like fucking 10 years ago. Do you know yeah, what I mean over here? It. And like, look, not just because any, but like, it's still the same. I don't yeah, and it's still timeless. It looks as good as the fucking day you did it. Like, It's raining and uh, I don't want to stand around the rain for too long. So uh, I just said I'd show you Jason's absolutely gorgeous two-door K70 just before we head back to Waterford. Thank you, Jason. Just a real formal handshake, <laughs> yeah. typical Ireland. But I just think it's so funny that 10 years ago in this exact same place, in the fucking piss and rain, we took photographs of this car and uh, now we're back here all over again. Well, I'm buying bits off him and uh, yeah, it's cool. The car's still here and it's still fucking great. Some <laughs> 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 